Welcome back, everybody. How's it going? This is the eighth and final episode of the Shoot 'em Up series. I think for the most part, we've got pretty much all the basics in place. We have the bullets, various power ups, enemies that come in, moving in different movement patterns, enemies that come in and shoot at you. So for the most part, I think we're pretty much there. One thing we don't have, well, I mean, we have it, but something really centered around the player ship dying. So right now it's really just the game object gets destroyed and that's it. And then you can't do anything else. You actually have to stop the game and restart the game in order to do anything. So after thinking about it a bit, I think my idea is gonna be something like you can get hit, but when you get hit, you become invulnerable for a certain amount of time. And then you can get hit again. And after something like three hits, uh, you die and the level resets. And then you have to do that level over again and you lose all your power-ups and all your points and all that stuff. And there's no real game over. It's just you can play infinitely, but you just have to not die for as long as possible. So I think that that's something like a good last state to really leave the game in. All right, so we're going to have to work on our player getting hit code and all that stuff is inside this ship script. Ship script. All right, so I'll start by adding just uh, some properties for what I was just talking about. So we'll have some amount of hits, right? Hits three, and then we'll know whether or not we're invincible. Invincible, uh, false. And then some timer for how long we should be invincible. Invincible timer, zero. And just some sort of definition for how long that's supposed to be. Invincible time, uh, two seconds. And then just go on down to where we're actually getting hit, which is in the collision code here. All right, so I'm gonna, yeah, because all this is gonna be dependent on whether or not I'm invincible and all that stuff. And actually the shield code should also be over here by the bullet. So that's actually weird. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create some generic, we got hit, we got hit uh, method here. Let's see, uh, we're gonna reference the game object that we hit. And I guess we'll start with whether or not we have shield. So take that. Oh, went way too far. If that's shield, right, then we deactivate shield. Otherwise we get hit. Uh, well, we don't get hit if we're invincible. So if not invincible, what happened here? Okay, then we do get hit, so take our hits down, minus, minus. Uh, and if our hits happen to become zero, then, you know, we uh, reset, basically. So, we'll do something like that. Uh, reset ship. All right. And we're gonna call that here. Reset ship. Otherwise, uh, we are invincible, and that should be true. And then reset ship is gonna say we destroy ourselves. Actually, it's not gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna change that in just a second after I get all this working. So instead of this, oh, what I'm also gonna do is regardless of that if i hit something then i'm going to destroy the game object that i hit right so i don't have to destroy the bullet here so here i just have to say so destroy hit and then this is deactivate shield here i don't have to destroy that or that or that so this is also just going to be hit and then the power-ups kind of work on their own separate logic. So I'm just going to leave that alone. All right, now we need to know what happens while we're actually invincible. So we're going to have some invincible timer that's going to basically count up to the invincible time and then reset our invincibility status. So I'll do that in the main update here. Just go straight to the bottom. Uh, so if we're suddenly invincible, then we're going to uh, check whether or not the invincibility timer is greater than or equal to the invincibility time. And if it is, reset it. And invincibility timer equals zero. And invincible is false. No longer invincible. Uh, otherwise, 
we do increment that timer. Right. And then what I also want to do is say, while we're invincible, I want to have some visual effect for while we're invincible, right? So similar to what I did with the shield, which is like flicker the shield sprite render on and off. I'm just going to do the exact same thing here. So I'm just going to go and get a reference to sprite render here. Sprite renderer. There it is. Sprite renderer. And then grab it. Um, and that would be. Uh, that's part of a sub game object called sprite. If we look at the um, hierarchy, so that's actually transform dot find, and that's going to look at the children of this game object. And it's called sprite, and then off of there, we're going to get the sprite render component. Sprite render component. All right, and then in update, right. While we're invincible, let's say if we're invincible, while we're still invincible and we're incrementing the timer, yeah, maybe there. Uh, sprite render dot enabled, enabled equals not sprite render enabled. So that'll flicker that. And once we reset back, just in case there was an odd number of flickers and we end up in a uh, non enabled state, so we'll just set that to true. And that should pretty much take care of all of that. And of course, I forgot to reset the code size. There we go. Nice big. All right. Let's see the consequences of all that. So now basically, it should just be the same thing, except uh, I die after three hits, each hit giving me some invulnerability, which should be, oh, there I am. I'm blinking for some amount of time. I stopped. I got hit again. Can't get hit. Can't get hit. Oh, and then I died because that's what happens when we die. So now we have hits and we can die after some amount of hits. However, still that's not, it kind of leaves us in a little bit of the same boat. We can just play a little longer. So now we're going to try and actually reset the level. So let's see, there's a couple of steps to actually resetting our player. Uh, one is we want the ship to go back to the initial position where they were when they started the level. So let's just grab our initial position. All right, so that'll be a vector two, vector two, initial position. And then we'll just set that here. Initial position. And then in the um, reset, uh, instead of destroying, transform position equals initial position. There we go. And then we're going to want to reset all of our power ups, right? So deactivate shield. If somehow we reset the ship while we had a shield active, shouldn't be possible, but why not? We're going to remove all of our guns. And for that, I'm just going to utilize this uh, add guns method, I think. So if I just set my power level to something less than the default, and then I just say add guns, It'll be level one and activate all the guns for just level one. So there'll be some that are currently active. So I want to deactivate them. Okay. So deactivate all the ones that aren't at this level, but not just at this level, but also less than or equal to this level. So if I have, if I've just gotten to level three, it activates also level one and two. And if they're already active, so what? It'll activate them again. It doesn't do anything. And then it'll deactivate anything above that level. So if I did have a bunch of guns above that level, they're suddenly deactivated. Right? Okay. So my initial level is zero. So I'm going to set this equal to negative one, I think. Right? And then I'm going to say add guns. And that'll give me back all the guns for level one. Or level zero, I should say. All right. And then what else do I have to do? I have to remove my speed bonus, right? So instead of increase speed, um, just going to do something like set a speed multiplier, I think. All right. So, so let's go to move speed. So speed multiplier. 
set that to one by default. Um, we'll go into a uh, fixed update where we're actually getting our speed. We'll have to set that multiplier here times our speed multiplier, right? So that's times one normally. So right now that doesn't do anything. And then instead of increase speed, I'll just say set speed multiplier. Multiplier, float, mult, something like that. And then instead of modifying the speed directly, speed multiplier equals whatever that value is. So then we're gonna have to change where that was getting called. And when I get the power up, so speed, set speed multiplier. Uh, this is gonna be whatever the current speed multiplier is plus one. So double and then triple and then, yeah, seems fine. And then when I do reset, I'm gonna go ahead and do set speed multiplier back to one. So that should take care of that. So no more shields, uh, back to basic guns, speed multipliers taken care of. Is that everything? Hmm. Oh, I guess we have to reset the hits. Yeah, so we can start getting hit again. I think that's everything. Yeah, so now if we go ahead and play, we should see that we'll reset everything. So let me get one of these guys, uh, this power of gun object. Where's that? Come over here, put that guy here. And let me get a speed power up here. Grab that, and then I should be able to acquire those and then lose those after three hits, right? Pretty fast now. One hit, two hits, three hits. I got reset and I lost my power up. I lost my speed. Pretty good. Pretty good. Can I still get hit again? Can I die? So I also reset, yep, there, I got reset again. All right. Well, we got that out of the way. Um, but the only thing that wasn't, you probably noticed that even though we got reset, all the enemy ships were still flying by, the level itself was actually still going on. So that's something that actually has to get reset also. So the, uh, the level script is responsible for loading scenes and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that as the thing that's gonna you know, re reload the level, reload the same level. So let's see, how are we loading levels here? Uh, so some scene name. So this is whatever the scene is. Same logic, exactly that. Just gonna grab that. Uh, create some reset level. And just paste it. That's the simplest way to do it. However, there's gonna be a couple of consequences of that. One, all the bullets have don't destroy on load, so they'll still be in the scene. So if there's some rogue bullet, it could still hit me <laughs> after I reset this, after I reset the level. Uh, so I'm also gonna go ahead and uh, grab all those bullets and destroy them manually. Uh, I think that's, oh, cool. the other thing. Game object, game find all objects of type. It's gonna grab every bullet in the scene and go ahead and destroy. Destroy that bullet. All right, the next thing that's not so obvious is that when we load the next scene, it's gonna unload our scene. And so it's gonna call destroy on all of the destructibles, which is then gonna call to start the next level. And then after the next, after our level reloads, it's gonna then try to jump us to the next level. And the reason that is, is that we put the, um, this call to remove destructible in the destructible class. So it's not that, in the destructible class, in the on destroy method. And that automatically gets called by Unity if the scene unloads for every game object. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to move this so that that's not called. Yeah, so we'll just put this right here where we're doing this other level called add the score. 
and just remove this destructible. And then we just don't need this. Thought we were being smart by adding that because we were actually getting destroyed in two different ways. One was here, the other one was in, where is that? That's in here? No. Where is the thing that says if our position is less than like negative something, then we get destroyed anyway? That's the reason that on destroy was there so that it could just call that because of getting destroyed that way. That was in the move script. You should probably just not have that in the move script. Let me open move right left. Yeah, there it is. I'm just gonna take that out. So now the move script is responsible just for moving. And now our destructible script will care about actually destroying us. That makes more sense, right? Uh, this is just gonna be transform position and destroy us, but also level remove destructible. And we get no score, nice. All right, let's see. Anything left to do in level reset, reset level? Um, other than because of these destructible numbers, uh, just, I guess, resetting this. So let's see here. Just num destructibles equals zero. And then not load this level async. Just load the scene directly because if it's async, it could load in the background. And in that amount of time, maybe another ship gets destroyed and our num destructibles is gonna end up being negative one. That would be weird. So just immediately load. And I think that should do it. Let me get out of this prefab view. All right, so everything should work like before, except now all the bullets will get destroyed and the level will actually reload back to its initial state. Wait a little bit here. Got some power-ups. Got some points. Ah, the points. I got to reset the points. No biggie. All right. Getting hit a bunch of times here. I'm not... Oh. I'm getting reset there. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm not calling to... <laughs> not calling the damn method reset level. Okay. Yeah, so... That'd be level instance reset level. How about that? All right. And... Uh, yeah, also points go back to zero, right? Points. What's it called? Score, sorry. Score, reset that. And do I have to set the score? Add score, how about that? Uh, and then to update the score text, how about add score zero? And then I'll just reset the text here, the UI text, back to zero. Alrighty, let's give that another go. Let's make sure some of them can actually get past the line, test that out too. Destructible count should work the same way. Oh, there we go, and the level reset. Now let's make sure it doesn't load a new level. It didn't, all right. That takes care of it. Um, that's also the end of the series. So, man, uh, this one's been pretty fun. Got to do a lot of stuff, especially with you know having real sprites this time. Uh, I really appreciate everybody sticking it out to the end of the series. It isn't exactly the most fun shoot 'em up in the world, but all I really wanted was all the base components in place as a good starting point, and then hopefully whoever's watching will get inspired, play other shoot 'em ups, and come up with something really awesome. So. Yeah, thanks again for watching. So yeah, if you liked it, go ahead, thumbs up, you know. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'm planning a whole new series that's gonna delve into some really interesting stuff. So if you wanna see that, do that. Hope you enjoyed it. That's it for me. Take care, thank you.